Hi Pisces! Welcome to your reading Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Pisces in this reading will be focusing on your person. We will take a look at your person's feelings, actions, their intentions towards you. We will check your connection with this person and we'll pull some messages of love for this connection and for you Pisces. Okay? So let's take a look. Let's see Pisces with whom we are with whom we are connecting today for Pisces. Could you please show this person? Could you please show Pisces person person on Pisces mind, please? Could you please show this person? Could you please show this person Pisces mind person on Pisces mind could you please show this person okay we have an ace of swords okay what else do we have for this person could you please show this person okay we have the death card we have an Ace of Wands, interesting. We have a King of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Ten of Swords. And we have a Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, for this person, we have um, Four of Pentacles. This person, Pisces, is trying to figure out something here. This is someone who's been through a major significant change and they're trying to get their, back to, get their life back together, if that makes sense. Look, we have an Ace of Swords, we have the Death card, we have an Ace of Wands. The first row it speaks about endings and beginnings transformation this person is undergoing some sort of transition transformation something is here happening and changing in this person's life but this is quite significant change and i can tell you one thing this is very uncomfortable change especially with this ten of swords having the death card and the ten of swords in someone's energy it, it shows that it is quite challenging situation that this person might be facing pisces you might be dealing here with Scorpio. I also have quite strong Earth uh, with this King of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. I very strongly feel here, Pisces, that um, something ended between the two of you. I feel that was a en painful ending. But with the Ace of Swords, this person wants to talk. They want to clear the air, the air with you. And they do want to talk about this painful ending. I strongly feel also, Pisces, that this individual with whom we are connecting today uh, this is someone who is by their own and you might be dealing here with someone who is afraid of commitment with this King of Pentacles and Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles because this is a very self-sufficient energy. It essentially shows that this person might be single. Or if you, um, if, if that's, if, 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 if you have a knowledge that this person has been in some sort of relationship, I can tell you that something here ended. This person is single here. And I feel they want to make you aware of that, that something here ended. Major change happened in their life. And I feel that major change can be applied to any area of this person's life. Love life, career, everyday life. Because the death card is quite, it is a very strong energy. And we have this ten of swords underneath death card. We have an ace of swords, ace of wands. They want to talk, but you are dealing here, Pisces, with someone who might be very, very stubborn. This is, it shows with the Four of Pentacles, with the King of Pentacles, with the Nine of Pentacles. This is like a, 
it gives me that vibe of someone who is a creature of habit. This person has their routines, they don't want to change it, they think that they know best. But I feel that, you know, recently they've been through something really significant. And spirit, I feel, wants this person to kind of direct their focus and kind of bring some sort of awakening to this person's energy in order to, 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 in order to kind of underline the fact that they need to change because change here is very significant. So what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is someone who wants to clear the air, who wants to talk with you with the Ace of Swords. This person wants the initiative um, contact with you with the Ace of Swords. They want to talk about something uncomfortable here. For some of you, they want to talk about this, this situation that caused an ending between the two of you. They want to talk also about how they feel about it. And I can tell you that uh, this person, it's, it's, it's not, they might, you know, they might appear that they have, that they have their things together, that everything is fine. But we have Ten of Swords. This is someone who is emotionally hurting. With the Nine of Wands, they feel very creative. They do want to have some sort of a chance. Okay, they want to be given some sort of chance here to bring mo more stability to the situation. This is a very, very um, strong energy here, Pisces. Something hit hard. I feel this person also um, treated this connection in not very nice way. There is a sense of betrayal sense of being stabbed in the back with this ten of swords there was a pa painful ending the thing is and what is worrying me here and i can tell you because i uh, pisces because i need to be honest this four of pentacles this is someone who doesn't want to change this is someone who doesn't want to uh change their habits they they feel comfortable the way they are this is someone who doesn't want to even think about change look how passive energy we have and all pentacles you might be dealing here with someone, Pisces, who's very focused on the 3D, so everyday life, finances, career. They might like nice things, jewelry, cars, whatever the case might be, quite materialistic energy. And something here is changing. But I feel that this person is still kind of trying to hold on, on this, to this, onto this um, old habits, this stability that they have. But change here is, is, is just, they, ca they cannot avoid this change. And things are going to change if they like it or not. That's what spirit is saying. And there is a need for, that, for this change because this person has been, I think, way too long focused on themselves. Way too long focused on what, you know, this is a very, with the, with the nine of pentacles, it also shows quite a selfish energy. You might be dealing here with someone who you got an impression that it's all about themselves. They don't care about anyone else at the end of the day. But, but change is happening and this person... I do apologize, I'm outside. <laughs> this person wants to talk. They want to talk. They, have, uh, they, they, they feel that urge to communicate something here to you. We'll see, we'll take a look what it is about. But things are changing. If this person li like, if they like, if they like it or not, there is a massive change happening in their life. And I feel that it's very uncomfortable change. It's not an easy energy. Okay, let's take a look, Pisces. Let's take a look at this connection with your with this person, at your connection with, with this person. Could you please show me Pisces' connection with this person, please? We have the High Precious. This is your energy, Pisces. Okay. We'll clarify those cards as well for you, Pisces. We'll see. What is this about? Okay. We have a Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. I don't take reversals, very, very rarely, if I feel that spirit wants me to. So we have already two queens, okay, and we have the fall. 
they wanted to okay we'll clarify that yes because you see when i see this is this person's energy pisces and the fool came in re reverse position which shows that this person it's it's feel they 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 this is this energy of four of pentacles they don't want to they are fighting this new beginning oh that's that's what i was getting that's why i was quite reluctant oh should i take this or that but we'll clarify this full we need to be consistent if we don't take it then we don't take it and spirits pointing out to take it in a normal upright position okay and the, and the overall energy we have a nine of swords so on your side pisces we have the high priestess for some of you pisces uh you are um, very s for some of you i feel that i am dealing here with pisces uh, who is very spiritual you might be a reader yourself pisces you might be interested in tarot in 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 uh, in esoterics but overall i strongly feel here pisces that you should listen to your intuition and i feel that your intuition is spot on with regards to the situation okay because high priestess she holds the secret i feel that there is some sort of uh, knowledge you, you just know something deeply inside about this this connection about this person or what this person might be uh, what 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 might be happening in this person's life you might get this gut feeling you know mm, i can feel that something is not quite right it also shows that it is very important once again to listen to your intuition because your intuition is guiding you in the right direction when it comes to this connection okay we'll clarify this high precious in a mo in a second what is this about as a mutual energy we have a queen of cups and we have queen of wands for some of you pisces this person put you in a third party situation it in, in um, this third party situation might be in the form of another relationship so essentially they entertain a different energy or they were focused on on themselves uh, meaning their finances career you know i have a very very strong material situation that might be uh, it might be in a form of interference with regards to this connection because this person is very much money orientated i i see them as someone who might be quite materialistic and focusing on on their own comfort let's say it that way but we already have uh, two queens Therefore, it shows that, you know, it might be a case that indeed uh, there was some sort of interference taking place in the form of third party when it comes to your connection with this individual. With the Queen of Cups, I, I tell you one thing, that this person has feelings for you and I feel that feel it, this, these feelings are mutual because Queen of Cups, uh, she is very loving, caring. Therefore, you know, Spirit is pointing out here as a mutual energy is that there is a, there is a room and there is a, that feelings of love and kind of understanding that something here can, can bring some sort of growth when it comes to this connection is very much, uh, it is, it is achievable, that it can be achieved. I also feel that both of you have feelings for each other, as simple as, as, as the Queen of Cups might be pointing out. The Fool. We have the Fool. This is a new beginning. I feel this person wants to have some sort of new beginning here with you, Pisces. Especially with this Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands and the Fool. Mm -hmm. This is someone who wants to talk and who wants to manifest you and who wants to take a leap of faith for instance in order to explain something to you or to be given another chance nine of swords as a as an overall energy for this mini spread shows that i feel this person gave you a headache pisces and i can tell you one thing that this person is stressing out here as well with this nine of swords because this is a very uncomfortable very uncomfortable um energy i just need to take a look how does it look like okay in a frame all right okay all right so let's clarify pisces for you this high precious why the high precious here for pisces okay oh we have this nine of swords yes they gave you a headache 
this person gave you a headache. Why the high priestess, please, spirit? Why the high? Okay, we have a three of pentacles. I feel Pisces that uh, you are there might be a no contact situation between the two of you because I feel that you keep your silence with the high priestess on your side. You are this is a passive energy. I don't feel you take any initiative to to be in touch with this person. Why the high priestess? Oh Pisces. Why why? And we have the devil. At the bottom of the deck, we have an eight of pentacles. Okay. So what I can see here, Pisces, I feel that you wanted to work on this connection. You wanted to be a team player. But uh, you might be dealing with Capricorn, Pisces. I also have Aquarius energy and Aries energy as well. But this person uh, gave you headache. I know that I'm repeating myself, but this is a very strong energy. I feel that at some point, Pisces, you just had enough. Because with the devil, I feel this person develops some sort of codependent dynamics in your, in your connection. With the three of pentacles. Do you know what I'm seeing here, Pisces? This is, um, it gives me a vibe of, I feel, Pisces, that you tried very hard to kind of guide this person. To make them understand something. Because you are showing here in the Pahai Precious Energy and in your own element, it means that you are in a completely different level than this individual. You have awareness, you're awakened here. And I feel that you tried really, really hard, and at some point you just had enough. For some of you, it might be a situation involving wor work related matters. We are connecting with collective energy Pisces, so scenarios will be different for you. Okay. Cross watches, you are very much welcome, but it might be something that Pisces did to you, so you might feel that, oh, that Pisces, you might read this reading as a Pisces is undergoing some sort of a massive significant change. Okay, so that's how, how you can uh, read this reading. The roles essentially can be switched. I feel this person was toxic and I feel Pisces that at some point you might found out that you are kind of caught in this toxic dynamic. Therefore you might have start acting very similar to this person or because this person put you during this, co this connection in this kind of uh, chase runner uh, dynamic, you yourself might, might kind of within time you realize that oh hang on a minute I, I I it's just it's so odd why I'm acting that, that way and that's what the devil is showing I feel that you know this person um, you felt very anxious very stressed very worried about the future of this connection on what's going on I feel you wanted to be a team player you wanted to help this person very much in order for them to advance, to, to kind of move. I feel that you were very supportive here, but this person put you in this a very uncomfortable dynamic represented by the devil, which essentially shows toxicity. This person became toxic for this connection and I feel for you as well. I strongly feel also Pisces that you really cared about this individual. And there was a time, I feel that you might even caught yourself uh, in this kind of thinking that you might have been obsessing over them, or that you've obsessed over them with the devil and the nine of swords. This person just created that sort of dynamic. And because you truly, I feel, cared about them, of course, you know, you wanted best for them. But this person put you I feel that momentarily, momentarily, there was a time I feel Pisces that you realized, oh, oh, hang on a minute, oh gosh, I, I'm start acting not the way, this is not me, I'm obsessing over this situation, I am, uh, I'm trying too hard, 
it's 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 not okay it's unhealthy it's toxic and that's essentially what it's what what these cards are showing here the thing is with the high priestess is that i feel this person had secrets this is someone who had secrets or you might be suspecting that this person has secrets i tell you one thing pisces your intuition is spot on okay and with the devil three of pentacles nine of swords that shows some sort of form of third party okay this person wanted to keep a secret and i feel pisces that it, for some of you you found out about it for some of you you just you just feel that that's the case and that's what spirit is here kind of uh, showing that indeed it might be a case okay and we have this queen of wands okay let's clarify this fool why the fool for this person's energy so we have a five of swords mm -hmm. could you please show me more why the fool please spirit pretty please okay we have a seven of pentacles we have a six of cups at the bottom of the deck we have the hanged man this is someone who doesn't want to change because hanged man it's a passive energy they have the new beginning i feel this person they want a new beginning but this is a creature of habit i feel you're dealing here with someone who is quite selfish and they need to change this change is implicated by this by, by the universe because it's a it's a, like a wake-up call listen man you need to hear change you can't be like this because uh, this is just not right that's what i'm getting with this energy so we have the fall clarified by the five of swords seven of pentacles pisces and a six of cups this person played mind games with you they lied they were unfair and i feel at some point pisces you you felt being played by this individual big big energy of mind games for instance it could be a case like a scenario that this person you know put the blame on you they were very skillful or they are very skillful with their words this is someone who argue for the sake of argument they want to win at all cost the thing is pisces that this person is invested in you but again this is someone who is invested also in in their ways this is someone who's who doesn't who doesn't like change and look how significant change is happening here in their energy and they have to change they, and they will because you can't escape that energy we have you know v very very the symbolism in this card is showing that no one is able to escape that change even someone who is who has a position and that's what's happening in this person's life at the moment this is someone who wants to reconcile with you pisces and that's what i was getting with this full energy and with those two aces because six of cups pisces is an energy of the past this is someone who feels a very um, emotional about you and they do want to come and they want to offer you some sort of apology affection they want to be in touch with you Pisces this is this is an in, this individual just they want to reconcile with you they want to be given another chance I strongly feel with this with this cards with the hanged man this is your energy Pisces they are very much focused on you they do want this new beginning but this person has to stop playing mind games they need to stop acting that way because this is an energy of self-sabotage this person has a tendency to sabotage good things in their life meaning disconnection 
but they are invested. They do want to reconcile. They want to have a new beginning in love with you. But what I'm seeing here, and this is what I was getting with this Four of Pentacles, they do want to have this new beginning, but this person, it's, uh, they don't want to change. I feel, Pisces, that this person got lazy and got too comfortable in, in this connection. And at some point, their focus was directed on something else. That's for some of you. Let's take a look at their feelings. But they do want to reconcile with the Six of Cups. They do. Let's see. Let's take a look. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Pisces? Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Pisces? Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups. Oh, way too many, but we'll take those. Uh -huh. We have the Tower and we have a King of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles again. Yes, this is what I was getting. This person got distracted. At some point, this person made you feel that you are not that you are not the priority, but the option. Oh, look, we have the tower. We have the death card. We have the ten of swords. There, oh, there's the, the, something hit hard here. I strongly feel, Pisces, that this change that this person is undergoing, it's it's kind of forcing this person to detach from their old ways. Because Queen of Swords, it's showing here, um, she, she, that represents that, it represents um, that energy of detachment. Therefore, in their feelings, this person is perfectly aware that they have to stop being dreamy or having their head in the clouds, giving excuses, thinking about themselves. They need to detach from the Seven of Cups because this person, it feels that they are unrealistic at some point. It's very strange because we are presented here with someone who, for, for instance, for the outside world, might present themselves as they have their things together and everything is fine and they may, you know, that they mean business. But in their feelings, they are just completely unrealistic here. They need to stop being like this. And the tower, it's this catalytic energy uh, triggered by, by the spirit. Because again, this is someone who doesn't want to change, who doesn't like change and who is refusing to change. Therefore, spirit is saying, listen, mate, if you are refusing, then this change will be just uh, triggered because it, something here needs to it needs to be approached in a different way i feel very strongly pisces that uh, you are this catalytic energy for this person because um in their feelings this this individual it's it's a mess with the tower there is but the tower also brings the sudden realization and this person is realizing that they need to detach from this dreamy, uh, non-practical, confusing energy. They need to focus on their goal. And I feel with this Page of Cups, uh, this person, it is of course a potential, but um, this person is realizing Pisces that you mean uh, a lot to them but it is uh, i can tell you now that it's a it's a it's a beginning of something higher that is happening in this person's uh in this person's heart therefore i can feel and i can see with this queen of cups that you know your mutual energy yes that you that you both have feelings for each other. But here it's, it's, it's happening in this person's, uh, when it comes to their emotions towards you, this person is realizing 
that they do care very very much and as much as we have this page of cups which is a potential because it shows that this 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 change this realization it's it's starting to happening and it's about uh, their emotions in their feelings this person wants to work on this situation and they want to appear in this king of wands energy that they have so much to offer and they feel very very kind of um, a create that, that they feel very enthusiastic about this about you therefore what I can see in their energy, in their feelings for you, is that this person is undergoing uh, realization that they need to detach from their old ways, that they need to stop confusing themselves and people around them, and of course you. This is someone who is starting to understand how profound this connection is and how much love they have for you. And also, I strongly feel here, Pisces, that this person wants to apologize. They do want to apologize. And they want to work on this connection. Okay, let's take a look, Pisces, at their intentions. Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Pisces? Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Pisces? You may be dealing with Scorpio. I have strong Scorpio. And Aries energy as well. This person's intentions towards Pisces, please. We have Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. We have the Justice card. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. Cutting the deck, we have a Seven of wands this person is missing you pisces with the five of pentacles the intention is to balance things out with you i feel this person will come come forward and they will show some sort of remorse they will say listen i know that i breadcrumbed you that i know that i was giving you time attention affection only when it was convenient to me I put you in this in this energy of luck of you might felt Pisces during this connection that you are not enough because this person develop unhealthy dynamics in your in your in your in this relationship I feel this person will admit that they they recognize that they were not nice that they han handled this connection in, in a not nice way they will say I feel that this person at some point pushed you away because of that of that behavior and I can tell you one thing that this person will tell you Pisces that I feel that if you confront them they will say that yes uh, for some of you there was a situation they were juggling you and another situation because we have justice surrounding this energy and it shows essentially a confession that this person is planning to balance things out with you they want to treat this situation with justice it's in their intention admitting yes I was giving you time only when it was convenient for me, affection. You were nothing than supportive towards me. I'm sorry, I miss you. You know, I can understand that you felt left out in the cold, Pisces. I pushed you away. And the reason for that, yes, there was a situation that, another situation that I was juggling you and this situation together at, at the same time. You might be dealing with Libra here, Pisces. They want to tell the truth. This person wants to this person wants to tell you they want to make some sort of confession here. They do want to confess and I feel express some sort of remorse and acknowledge that yes they 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 were unfair because th this person I feel they they were unfair here. I sense that. Could you please show me this person's actions? We have the sun. You might be dealing here, Pisces, with, uh, with Leo. Could you please show me more? Could you please show me this person's actions towards Pisces? This 
person's actions towards Pisces. This person's act actions towards Pisces, please. Uh huh. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, we have a judgment card. We have at the bottom of the deck we have a chariot and when we cut the deck we have the star this person wow we have so many major arcanas here so pisces i have leo i have aquarius i have cancerian energy and i have st strong scorpio as well scorpio is quite prominent in this reading you might be heavy placements you might have a sorry you might have a heavy placements in your chart for some of you for some of you this person might have placements scorpio placements in in, in day chart it can be a case oh it's just you know it's a, it's an energy however uh this person wants to come back we had the six of cups and with the judgment they want to announce something here they want to communicate they want to resurrect this connection or they want to bring some sort of peace between the two of you with the star this person uh and with the chariot this is a very interesting combination because it seems that this person sees a um, sense of direction. Star, it's giving a direction and chariot is this energy that it's, it wants to take things or put things in motion. So it wants to take forward, following the star. So this person sees you as, as, this, as this sense of direction. They want to advance towards you. They want to heal this connection and, and they feel very, very um, determined to do that determined to do that with the sun this is a card of happiness six of wands they want to be victorious they want to have a success therefore pisces i feel this is a very nice energy this person will communicate or they will call you or they will undertake some sort of action in order to have some sort of conversation and to reconcile with you because this person truly they truly want they truly want to heal this connection and they feel very passionate about it they want to be happy and i feel and what i'm getting here pisces also that um when this person will undertake an action i feel that you will be quite happy about it because this is a nice energy it doesn't show anything sneaky or anything of this kind i feel that you will gain some sort of personal satisfaction when this person approach you and and you'll be quite happy for with regards to what this person will tell you i truly feel that in their intentions they do want to explain themselves and admit that they did you wrong and in their actions i feel that uh, you will get some sort of uh, form of 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 justice of fairness and i feel that you'll feel very happy about it but they do want to heal this connection they do want to be with you okay so let's pull some messages of love for you pisces could you please show me some messages of love second chance you see this person it's coming and i feel they will ask you to be given a second chance this is someone who wants to have a new beginning with you could you please show me more? Could you please some, show me some messages? Fate wanted to show up. So something is fated here. When it comes to this connection, Pisces. Something is happening behind the scenes. We have balance. And we have forgiveness. This person is coming for forgiveness, Pisces. We have decision. And here and now also show up and at the bottom of the deck look pisces we have intuition you already know the answer you seek hi precious absolutely so pisces essentially uh spirit is showing that this person uh will come back and this person wants a second chance with you it's very important to keep a balance and there will be when they will come back i feel this person will ask for your forgiveness because we have a forgiveness card therefore you will be put in a position that you will have to make a decision if you want this person back or not okay you will have to decide 
what to do with this connection relationship. If you decided to take this person back, Pisces, Spirit is only emphasizing here that balance is very needed within this connection. Because with the Devil card, again, I strongly feel and sense that this person I created this chase around a dynamic, something here was toxic. They developed this they, they developed this attachment. Okay, and I feel that within time you were very, very exhausted and very tired. With the balance card, spirit it's saying here. Okay, okay, oh, oh it's quite windy. Sorry. <laughs> spirit it's saying here, Pisces, uh, that it is important to maintain this equal give-take, okay, to have the balance, to keep balance, so to give the same amount of energy, time, focus, affection, as much as this person is willing to give, okay, because balance cut shows that one person is giving too much in this relationship, and I feel that was your energy, you are giving so much love, um, affection, support, but this person at some point got really comfortable and lazy. Therefore, balance is very needed to keep these healthy dynamics, to maintain a healthy dynamics uh, in this connection. Here and now, I feel that, you know, those things will be happening fairly soon. This person will communicate. I feel you can expect this person to come forward fairly soon. Okay, so yes, you you will have to decide what you want to do with this connection, uh, because this person is coming back for a second to be given a second chance or to ask to be given a second chance, and this person will want you will want to you know they they will apologize, and I feel they're coming also for your forgiveness, Pisces. But I feel that you already know that <laughs> with this intuition card. Okay, let's see. Could you please give me uh, an outcome with regards to Pisces' connection with this person? Could you please show me an outcome for a near future for Pisces' connection with this person? An outcome. An outcome. We have the Four of Swords. Take your time, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. <laughs> decision, decision, decision. You might be dealing with Gemini. Yes. So essentially, Pisces, I can tell you one thing, that this person is coming back. They are coming for a second chance. They want your forgiveness. They will make themselves clear. I feel that they will explain. And they will kind of, um, I feel that they will, um, that they will take responsibility because we have this justice card. With the Four of Swords, Spirit is saying here, you know, take your time because you will be indeed in a, put in a position to make a choice, to decide what you want to do with this relationship. And with Lovers is a card of choice. Choice, especially when it comes to relationship, it is choice that has to be made in love. And it also shows relationship. So for some of you, I feel strongly Pisces when this person approach you. I feel that you will take your time. You will say, listen, I, I, I need to think about it. And with the Four of Swords, Spirit is advising, yes, absolutely. If you feel that you need to take your time, take your time, you know, take a step back and rethink, you know, any, pro, any good sides and bad sides and, and decide and, and, and make this decision if you, if you really want this individual back to your life. But as an overall energy for this reading, the lovers shows that there is a huge potential for both of you to create something very nice. Because lovers is this very strong soul connection. And I feel that you do share a strong soul connection with this person. This person sees you as a source of their happiness. They do want to reconcile with you. And they also feel that you, that you are, you know, that there was a no coincidence that you, that both of you cross you, each other's paths. However, with the Four of Swords Spirit is saying, take your time and in order to make this decision, if you want this person uh, to be back to your life, if you want this person, if you want to give this person another chance, 
but as an overall energy the lovers shows that yes there is a big potential for this connection to work out okay Pisces I would leave it here thank you so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and I truly hope that this reading was of help Pisces uh, once again thank you so so very much I truly appreciate you I truly truly do thank you Pisces take care bye